Hi team, I thought I'd put together a quick tutorial for Kumu for you just to get you started. So let me share my screen here. So I put this one together just really quick, just as a reminder, I'll do this loop. Um, I got a little clarity away. I was just gonna do one, but I was having fun. So uh, as mental illness increases, drug abuse increases, as drug abuse increases, financial, excuse me, family stability decreases, as family stability decreases, isolation increases, as isolation increases, mental illness increases. So. Pretty straightforward. Uh, so I want to show you how to build this in Kumo. So, um, so basically, you have factor one and leads to factor two. So let me delete that one so I can start. So, so the first thing you want to do is learn how to create elements. Uh, these are your factors. So you just go to this little green button down here. You hit element. And we are going to put factor three and hit that. So now we have three factors. Okay, now we want to do um, connections. So you uh, click on the uh, one that you want it to come from and you hit the plus thing, add a connection, and you want to go to factor two. And there it goes. And let me uh, decrease it a little bit here. And then you just do the same thing, elements, and we're gonna go to factor three, right? Whoops, why did that not work? Uh, connection, factor three, there we go. There's that factor, we'll move this out a little bit. Um, put that one farther north, there we go. And then one more connection, factor one. All right, whoa, I went from two. Um, worst tutorial ever. Hold on a second. Click on factor three. I was just showing you what would happen if you didn't select that. Factor one. There we go. Okay, so here we have a beginning of our of our loop, we can we can um, zoom in on it. We can move it around, stuff like that. We can mess around with it. You can um, make it more of a well. It's an oblong, huh? So it really doesn't matter. So at this point, so there we go. So now, how do we get in our uh, our indicators if something's getting better? Uh, is increasing a factor or decreasing a factor. Okay, this is really important. So you just hover over one of the connectors, you go up to this little thing and you click on that. And then you, you go over here and then you add a, a connection point. You only have to do this one time. So you go plus, 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 done. and say we want to add another one, new value, and we're gonna say minus, minus, whoops, minus, minus, done. We changed it. So I'm gonna select on this one now, I'm gonna add a connection type, and we're gonna make it plus, minus, done. So now you can see more and then less. And then this last one, we'll uh, add it to minus plus, minus plus. There we go. Now we should have all of our uh, different factors in there as, as you can see, our, our different connectors. So it should be easy now. So if we went in and we added an element, let's say, factor four, and let's move that, let's say over here. Then we wanna add a connector. So you click on up where you want it to come from, go down here to the green button, add connector, and then factor four, 
and then you pops up and gives you your selections. So it goes there. And then you can click on this. And now that we've built it all, you just go straight up here, you click on this, and you pull down this little type menu. And we could decide if we want it to be a minus plus or plus minus or or whatever you want. Let's do one we haven't done yet, which I think is a plus to minus. There we go, factor four. So you can start building it that way. And then you can uh, build uh, really quickly um, maps like this. And the great thing is you can you can move them around and, and, and change it and, and pick different factors that you want. So there's a little bit of a learning curve with Kumu, but as you can see, it is relatively easy. So hopefully this was helpful to you.